So I have the OnePlus Watch 2 and I'll be showing you how to measure your blood oxygen, okay? Now the first thing you need to do is put on your watch properly on your wrist. It should be snug on your wrist, not too tight, not too loose. The next thing you want to do is press this button to go to the main menu and then look for the blood oxygen icon. It's this one right here with O2, tap on it. And then it's going to give instructions on how to wear your watch. Just tap on the check mark if you've already worn it properly. And then to start monitoring or to start the check, just tap on start. So it's going to tell you to keep still for about 30 seconds. So try and do that. and it's gonna give you a reading. So currently mine is at 97%, which I assume should be good, and that's it. Now, if you swipe, you can see some other data. If you've been measuring automatic, uh, if you've set up automatic blood oxygen monitoring on your watch, you'll see the information there. So if you want your watch to automatically monitor your blood oxygen periodically, then you can set that up on the O Health app on your phone. So just launch the app and then tap on devices to get to my watch page. Now here, come here to workout and health, tap on that. And then you can scroll on this page until you get to SpO2 tracking, that is blood oxygen tracking. So tap on that. And then if you want, your wearable device will automatically track your SpO2 when you are at rest. So just go ahead and turn that on and confirm by tapping on that. Now, once you enable that, it means your watch from time to time, especially when you're resting, is going to measure your blood oxygen. Okay. Thank you for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.